Westside Company is being ordered to stop creating a smell. Yeah, that smell has been plaguing the area for years, and now the city is requiring the company to do something about it. Yona Gavino joins us live with that story. Yona. Good afternoon there, Carol and Mike. Well, you know what? A lot of people have been complaining about the smell. The health department says they've had complaints about it dating as far back as 2006. Now, let's take a look behind me. This is actually the plant where the bad smell is coming from, and now the city is taking steps to clear the air. If I smell it, I, I don't get too excited because I know it's not really attracting customers to have that smell hanging around. Jesse Metzger tells me he recently smelled the odor a few days ago. It comes from Advanced Waste Services. Today, there was no trace of it in the air, but the health department claims they have had complaints as far back as 2006. People in this neighborhood say they've smelled it. They describe it as garlicky or smelling like rotten eggs, and some of them thought the smell came from Miller Coors Brewery. But actually, it wasn't. In fact, even brewery employees have complained of the smell. Now the Department of Neighborhood Services will issue an order to the company to close the plant's doors and windows when they're treating waste. They were also told to stop adding chlorine to the waste stream to hide the smell. The company has also had to hire a consultant to come up with a solution. I asked officials if any of these had been done yet. We have not verified how their operation is working today, but I am assuming that if they haven't done it today, they will be initiating changes to their protocol and procedures. Still, this business owner is hoping it doesn't drive away business. It, it, it'll be, you know, a day or two that you'll smell it and then you won't smell it for a few weeks. So it's sort of irregular, but, um, you know, very, very unpleasant. Now, I did reach out to the president of this company today, but never heard back from him. And as far as the city officials, they tell me if the problem continues, they could declare the company's operation a public nuisance. Live in Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Well, hopefully the neighbors will get some permanent relief. Thanks a lot, Yona.